everybody, Quan here, back with another video. So today, guys, I'm in the studio by myself. It's in between classes. I wanna have some fun. So we're gonna be doing a dumbbell only back workout today. So I've done a bunch of dumbbell workouts for you guys before, but I realized I've never done a back workout with just dumbbells for you. So we're gonna have a couple different variations, both standing and on a bench. We're gonna have some fun today, but before we get to that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We're at 38,800 subscribers. Guys, we started at 500 at the beginning of the year. You guys have really helped us grow. You guys have changed my life so much, made me be able to do things that I never thought I'd be able to do. So thank you guys so much. Do me a favor, share this video with a friend, turn on post notifications, and let everybody know, you know what we're doing over here. So we're gonna hit this workout going. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. It's gonna be a quick one. Remember, three to four sets of everything. The rep range is still gonna be kind of low though. That's eight to 12 range. We're working on bulking right now. So yeah, comment down below if you still wanna see that full day eating video. I gotta see the comments in order for me to make the video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's Let's go. All right guys, so the first exercise we have today, we're just gonna do our traditional uh, single arm row. We're gonna put our arm on a bench, but if you don't have access to a bench, you know, I know a lot of us around the world are stuck at home, you don't have access to a gym. Uh, grab a banister, a railing, something where your back is relatively flat. I'm gonna use the bench today. We're gonna do a set of 12 here. I'm using a 66 pound dumbbell, um, but if your weight is light and you need something that can really, you know, that you can still get that stimulus and you still wanna feel like you're getting something done, Focus on the tempos, you know, go down like a four count, five count, six count, really slow the weight down. That way you can make the most of what you have if you've already burned out your 25 pound dumbbells, all right? So let's get right to it. Oh, I'm a little stiff today. All right, so we're gonna come up, kind of let your shoulder down a bit, lean forward, head up, and we're gonna row. Bringing that dumbbell all the way up to our chest, nice and controlled here, we're gonna do 12. That's two, flowing right through. I'm at work right now, so there's people outside, you know, delivering water, picking up trash, all that stuff. You know, every time you're filming, something's always happening. You know how it goes. Seven, eight, nine, nice and controlled. And so as I switch to the other arm, I'll show you guys what I was talking about with the tempo, right? So if the weight you're using is too light, bring it up quick and bring it down on a four, three, two, one, pause. Float up, four, three, two, one, just like that, all right? This weight is actually pretty good for me right now, so I'm just gonna finish off these rows. And take my time here. All right. Oh, Lord. So with those, remember, try to do three to four sets of those. Comment down below if you have any questions about the form or if there's something you saw that you think I can even improve on. I don't know everything. I'm just sharing with you guys what works for me and I hope it can work for you. And remember, if you need a program made just for you, don't forget to click the link down below for some online training, get you some subs, get a whole bunch of cool things down there, all right? Let's move on to the next exercise. Two, those deadlifts. Head up, chest up, shoulders peel back, and we're gonna push those hips back. Pause at the bottom and come up. Just a slight bit in the knees here, folks, okay? Turn the side a little bit so you can see. Butt goes back first, go down, and pop back up. So we're gonna do about 10 more here. What I mean, nice and controlled, it doesn't have to be super slow. I just don't want flailing motion, all right? You're gonna feel that, like I said, shoot those hips back, you're gonna feel in your mid back, upper back, really work on developing that shape. So you want that symmetry shape, spread out a little bit. You build all that at home. You don't need to be deadlifting with barbells and all that crazy stuff. That stuff helps. It may be more effective, but you can still get a great workout at home with just your dumbbells. So now I'm gonna go right into the next movement. We're gonna go into a bent over row. We're gonna shoot those hips back and we're gonna Go ahead and row and squeeze, all right? Very similar to the single arm row, which you're gonna see, getting that balance, getting that, that, sim, that uh, simulation that you need, shooting back, keeping that core tight, and pull. I'm gonna go get some lighter weights. I'm leaving the camera on, though. Yeah, guys, I'm totally by myself in this gym. No one else is here sitting, watching, or anything. It's just me. It's just me. All right, again, so now, just like we did, just like we did on the deadlift, I wanna make sure that 
you guys shoot those hips back first here and we're gonna go with nice underhand grip and we're gonna roll pull in the dumbbells right to our chest like so okay I'm actually gonna turn a little bit to the side to the back we're here all right let's get it another 12 reps So doing those two together as a superset is kind of tough. You go right from those deadlifts into those rows, your back's gonna be on fire, you're gonna feel tired, core's gonna be lit up. But again, putting two exercises together, great way to save time and burn those calories and stimulate those muscles, all right? So let's move on to the next exercise. I'm not tired or anything, don't worry. All right, location change. Came over here, we're gonna do some reverse flies. Um, Again, these are just some of my favorite exercises you can do to train your back, especially if you're first for time or trying to figure things out. I know a lot of you don't you know, watch all the way throughout the videos. I understand your time is valuable. You have other things to do, which is perfectly fine. Um, so I'm gonna get right into this reverse fly. And again, I know we sometimes do these on shoulder day as well, but you're still gonna hit your back, that mid back, those rear delts, that really adds to the shape of your back. You want that nice V taper, want those shirts to fit right, whether you got an open back shirt on or you got, you know, just a regular t-shirt, it's really effective. So we're gonna hinge at the hips. Oh, you don't wanna see this view. Let's turn it around, we're gonna hinge at the hips and we're gonna put the arms down and open up. You can see everything firing here. You don't need super heavy weights. I'm actually only using like 15, 16 pounds here but nice control, again, 12 reps, opening up with that good range of motion. And again, if the weights feel like they're too light, go ahead and explode out and bring it down slow. As you can see, I had trouble controlling that weight there. And that's the control. Since you already have like lighter dumbbells in your hand there, go ahead and switch in right into a curl. So I'm gonna step back. These were 18s, I didn't even read them, look at me. All right, we're gonna turn. Get that curl, keep, press those dumbbells to your side, arms to your side, use your lats to flare out. That way you stop your arms from swaying. Give me another 12 reps here, okay? Again, I'm getting a lot of activation with just 18 pound dumbbells, all right? You don't need a ton of weight. Just take your time, control the motion, control your breathing, and it'll take you a long way. Again, everything you see in this video, folks, Three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. Eight on the low end if it's super being super heavy. 12 or more if you, you know, just trying to get it done. We're gonna finish this thing out with one more movement. Uh, kind of a little combo movement, my favorite thing to do. I love my renegade rows. Getting down that pusher position and just rowing. All right, folks, so back on the ground. We're gonna knock out these renegade rows. So we're gonna get in that nice push-up position. We're gonna stay elevated here. We're gonna go down to the push-up and give me two rows at the top. We're just gonna do about 10 push-ups, but just gonna give us about 20 rows, 10 on each arm. All right, chest up, come down, and row. The key is to keep your back as flat as possible. Control that weight. It doesn't have to be heavy. Just work on activating those lats. All right, now that we're here, again, this is a back and bicep workout. We're gonna sit in that down position. Again, I like to stay down here sometimes because when you're standing, you can sway and cheat. Here we can't, so we're gonna go here, turn out, different part of that bicep, hit those curls. Slight 45 degree angle, control that weight. Knock out that super set. Now we're gonna stand up and knock out these arms. One more big heavy set. Call it a day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this back and bicep workout, all right? Let's finish. 
All right, to finish up the back and bicep workout, we're gonna go cross body curl, pressing our biceps against ourselves here, then we're gonna go into a single waiter curl. You guys know me, you know I love my waiter curls, so let's knock this thing out, folks. All right, with these, we're gonna go still kinda heavy, so we're back to those 40 pounders we were using. Just so you can see, I'm using boarders again, so you guys know that the ones I have at home aren't big marshmallow weights, they are regular weights. As you guys can see, some of the comments get to me sometimes, but I understand that that's just part of YouTube. I'm getting better, I just, some days it's tough. So we're gonna go cross body here. We're gonna bring that dumbbell across our body. That's the control. Squeeze in as we come across. Let's get about 10 reps on each arm. It sound right, boy. Right. Now we're gonna knock out those waiter curls, all right? So the key here is to hold the dumbbell here, curl up nice and controlled, bring it down slow. Now we're gonna finish up the workout there. Remember all these exercises you saw today, you can superset each one. The first one I did by itself, we superset everything else, and we're gonna, you're gonna set three to four sets of everything. So that's about, this is gonna be about seven exercises total. We're starting a little bit, but press for time. But we're still getting this thing done. All right, with the waiter curl, we're gonna keep the dumbbell here, like you're carrying a tray, you're gonna curl down, and control them the way up. Like that, folks. Control that weight. Last exercise of the day, so you know we're doing 15 reps. Remember, you're really gonna feel that burn. All right, that's about it folks. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for joining me for another workout. I hope this dumbbell only back and bicep workout helped you guys. Again, pull-ups and other things are a great way to mix it up. But if you don't have access to that, you hit these up, you're gonna hit some different parts of your back, you're gonna have a good workout, especially if you're just trying to buy time before you can make it back to another gym. We're, some, we're about maintaining and getting better, so this is also a great workout to maintain. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notifications. Guys, I truly appreciate everything. Thank you guys for just give me that good positive energy. And even if you're all about the negativity or you don't like my channel for a reason, I have to say, you're still watching the video, so you're still helping me grow. So with that being said, I still love you. So thank you so much for everything, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's keep growing, let's keep pushing. Let's keep trying to be the best version of ourselves. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks, appreciate it.